My name is Adobe, a 34 years old woman from a small village in Enugu State, Nigeria. My life has been a tapestry of culture, tradition, and simplicity. I grew up in a close knit community in Enugu where everyone knew everyone. And we all share each other's joy and sorrow. My journey through love and marriage has been filled with unexpected twists, culminating in a peculiar situation that I never imagined could happen in my life. I married Chike five years ago. I met Chike at a friend's wedding in Ikeja. He was the best man and I was the bridesmaid. Chike was a tall, handsome man with a kind heart. His laughter could light up a room and his presence was always comforting. He was everything I had ever dreamed of in a man. Our connection was instantaneous and within a few months, we were inseparable. We got married in a traditional Igbo ceremony in our hometown of Enugu, surrounded by family and friends who blessed our union with love and well wishes. Our first few months of marriage were blissful, filled with love and laughter. We moved to Ogbomosho, where Chike had secured a job as an engineer. I worked as a teacher in a local primary school. We bought a cozy bungalow on the outskirts of the town, surrounded by lush greenery and the sound of nature. It was a perfect setting for our love to flourish, and we began to build our lives together. Our life took an interesting turn when one day, Chike came back home with a surprise. He had brought home a dog, a beautiful German shepherd, he said it was a gift for me to keep me company when he was at work. I was ecstatic. I had always loved dogs. We named the dog Zulu. Zulu quickly became beloved member of our family, bringing joy and laughter into our home. I felt like the luckiest woman in the world. Little did I know. Zulu would become more than just a pet in our lives. However, as time went on, I began to notice subtle changes in Chike's behavior. He became distant, often coming home late from work and spending more time on his phone. My suspicions reached their peak as I sat in the living room my mind raised with thought of what could be causing his strange behavior. Was he seeing someone else? Was he hiding something from me? When I asked him about it, he would brush off my concern, saying he was just busy with work. I wanted to believe him, but something in my gut told me there was more to the story. I tried to brush off my suspicions convincing myself that it was just work stress. But deep down, I knew something was wrong. Chike's behavior continued to change. He became even more distant, often retreating to the guest room with Zulu, claiming he needed to work late into the night. I found this odd, but I trusted him. After all, he was my husband, and I loved him dearly. However, my trust was soon shattered. One night, as I lay in bed waiting for Chike to come home, I heard the sound of his car pulling into the driveway. I quickly closed my eyes, pretending to be asleep. Moments later, he entered the room, and to my surprise, he didn't come to me straight away. Instead, he went to Zulu's corner. I peeked through my eyelashes and saw him whispering to our dog. 
his hands gently stroking Zulu's fur. It was an odd sight, but I dismiss it as a moment of affection for our pet. One day, I woke up in the middle of the night and noticed Chike was not in bed. I decided to check on him in the guest room. As I approached the door, I heard strange noises coming from inside. My heart raised as I slowly opened the door. What I saw left me in shock and disbelief. There was Chike, lying in bed with Zulu. Both of them sound asleep. It was not the sight of them sleeping together that shocked me, but the intimacy of their position. Chike had his arms wrapped around Zulu, holding him close like one would hold a lover. My heart sank, and I quietly closed the door, not wanting to wake them up. The next morning, I confronted Chike about what I had seen. He laughed it off, saying it was nothing, just him comforting Zulu, who was scared of the thunderstorm. I wanted to believe him, but a nagging feeling in my gut told me there is more to the story. Over the next few weeks, I became more observant. I noticed that Chike spent more time with Zulu than with me. They would go for long walks together, and he would often sit with Zulu, talking to him in harsh tones. I felt like an outsider in my own home. My suspicions grew, and I decided to do something I never thought I would do. I installed a hidden camera in the guest room. What I discovered broke my heart. The footage showed Chike and Zulu having sexual intercourse. They cuddled together, with Chike often whispering sweet nothing into Zulu's ear. It was clear that Chike was emotionally attached to Zulu in a way that went beyond a normal pet-owner relationship. I was devastated. I felt a mix of emotions, anger, disgust, sadness, and pity. How could a man I love have such a dark secret? I confronted Chike with the evidence, and he broke down admitting that he had been feeling lonely and disconnected from me. He said that Zulu had become his source of comfort and companionship. I was heartbroken and angry. How could my husband, the man I loved, chose a dog over me? I felt betrayed and humiliated. Chike begged me for forgiveness, promising to change and work on our relationship. I agreed, hoping that we could salvage our marriage. We started attending marriage counseling, and for a while things seemed to improve. Chike spent more time with me, and we tried to rekindle the love we once had. However, the bond between Chike and Zulu remained. It was something I couldn't compete with, and it tore me apart. One night, as I lay in bed, unable to sleep, I realized that I couldn't go on like this. I loved Chike, but I couldn't continue living in a marriage where I felt like the third will. The damage had already been done. Despite his effort, I couldn't shake the feeling of betrayal and disgust. Our marriage, once filled with love and joy, had been tainted by a secret so dark it overshadowed everything else. I made the difficult decision to leave. The next morning, I packed my bags and told Chike that I was leaving. He was devastated, begging me to stay and promising to change, but I knew that it was too late. The damage had been done and I need to find myself again. It was a difficult decision, but one I knew was necessary for my own sanity and well-being. I moved back to Enugu, where I stayed with my parents. 
while I figure out my next step. It was a painful and difficult time, but it was also a period of self-discovery and healing. I realized that I deserved to be with someone who would love and cherish me, not someone who would choose a dog over me. As for Chike, he remained in Ogomosho with Zulu. We stayed in touch for a while, but eventually we drifted apart. I heard through mutual friends that he continued to rely on Zulu for comfort and companionship. It was a sad and tragic end to what was once a beautiful love story. Looking back, I have many regrets. I regret not seeing the sign early and not addressing the issues in our marriage sooner. I regret the time we wasted, the love we lost, but most of all, I regret that something so dark and twisted could come between us. In the end, I found peace and happiness within myself. I learned to love and appreciate myself, and I eventually found someone who loves and cherishes me for who I am. It was a long and difficult journey, but it was worth it. And while I still have fond memories of my time with Chike, I know that I made the right decision for myself. Life in Enugu had been a new chapter filled with hope and promise. I have reconnected with my old friends and made new ones. I have thrown myself into my work, finding joy and fulfillment in teaching. And most importantly, I have learned to love and appreciate the simple pleasures in life. As for Chike and Zulu, I can only hope that they found the peace and happiness they were seeking. It is a strange and unconventional story, but it is my story. And while I didn't have the fairy tale ending I hoped for, it taught me a valuable lesson about love and set forth. So here I am, living my life in Enugu with no regret. I have learned that sometimes the most unexpected twists and turns in life and lead us to where we are meant to be. And while my journey was filled with heartache and pain, it ultimately led me to a place of peace and happiness. And for that, I am grateful. This is my story, a tale of love, betrayal, and regret. It serves as a reminder that even the strongest of relationships can be shattered by secrets, and that sometimes, the only way to find peace is to let go and start anew. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and press the notification button for more interesting confessions. Bye for now.